straight up, I don't know who at Blizzard thought this was a good idea, but people at Blizzard on Facebook are actually like trying to fucking promote the idea that Diablo Immortals not pay to win. Like, the actual official Facebook account, I really don't get from the people who say it's pay to win. From what I've seen from playing, you've got to be really bad or haven't played at all in order to even be pay to win. What the fuck does that even mean? A and look, it's actually Diablo. It spoken like a champion. Flex! Flex! Yeah! And it's exactly as you said. Progression is consistent with a great... With great, and if that... And if that, if one decided to pay, would be just to go that little bit faster than the rest of us. Can somebody that actually still has Facebook installed check to make sure this is real? It's a trans... It's obviously a translation. Uh, they've got a lot of Z's and like it looks like uh, I don't know what language this is, but it's obviously not American So uh, it looks like probably some like Nordic language. I don't know like uh, it's Polish a Hungarian Yeah, something like that. I have no idea um, Anyway, so it's exactly what you said progressions consistent and great And if you did decide to pay you would just go a little bit faster than the rest of us and aren't there two pictures of this? Yeah, there's another one I really do not get all the hate towards loot boxes. You can have gear to play the whole game without an issue. Loot boxes are always for those who want to rush the late game or have way too much time on their hands. For the average user, you will never even consider purchasing anything in the game. You're never even going to consider it. No way. That's good point you're making there, and I would recommend submitting feedback in regard to the Platinum. Oh my god. It's not a response to that post? Ooh, that's a good point. That's a very, very good point. Yeah, um, yeah, it's actually not a response to the post because this guy has Bjorn tagged, not Victor, you know? So yes, very good point. And, uh, holy shit, and 42 people are positive about that. Oh my god. Bunch of fucking clowns. An active Blizzard community manager on Facebook is defending pay to win. I don't know where to start mocking this. I don't know either. This is unreal. And so it's not pay to win. If you never win, that's the trick that Blizzard has. Yep, that idiot. The thing is, think about how dumb this guy is. No, no, not this guy. Um, think about how stupid Victor is. There was an 800% bonus box, and he didn't even see it. He was so stupid, he didn't even see it. It was right in front of him. He didn't see the 800% bonus box for a dollar. Victor is just not paying attention at all, man. He's just blind. He's got something, man. Oh my fucking god, just a little bit faster. The official response really makes me not want to play Diablo 4 anymore. Yep, them openly defending this looks really bad. I'm sure going to eventually get some cheap positive PR whenever one of their games doesn't have loot boxes, and I hope someone brings this up in the comments. I really want Blizzard to make a comment on Diablo Immortal. <laughs> I really do. I want them to come out with a statement of like, you know, like, the game came out and, uh, it's had a mixed reception, you could say. What do you think about it? Like, what do you think about some of the people that are making the accusation that, I don't know, the game's like pay to win or something? Like, uh, what, what do you think? Like, is it, is that legit or is it just like, are those like just Final Fantasy fans? Like, what, what, what is this exactly? Earnings call this month, isn't it? Yes, it is. And um, I think they already released some of the information about that. Okay, Diablo Immortal. Let's talk about this real quick. And this is not really a surprise, I think, to anyone, but um, here we are. Um, Diablo Immortal has made $24 million in two weeks, as Blizzard's latest RPG generates controversy over its runes, crests, and loot boxes, and other things too, don't forget about that. Diablo Immortal microtransactions have uh, generated $24 million in revenue, 
with players. Wait, d data from an industry tracking website. Data from an industry tracking website, App Magic reveals that since its launch on June 2nd, Blizzard's latest RPG has been downloaded more than 5 million times and has quickly become the developer's second highest mobile earner, surpassed only by the almighty Hearthstone that's, uh, that's being released in 2004. So this is the data that this person has. Uh, let's see if I can find this. So revenue is over $24,000. I mean, so if it's more than twenty thousand dollars, then I, 2015. Sorry, I, I read it the wrong way. Um, view as a graph. Okay, let's see what this is. Dashboards custom. Does it not? Oh, I have to log in. Fuck you. Okay, let's see this. So it's forty-three percent of this, and this is all, guys. Keep in mind, this is all a thirty. Uh, this is all a, a, a th last thirty days number one, and it's also a third party. So, like, is any of this stuff really real? We don't know. I, I think that it's a ballpark. You know what I mean? So, the United States, 43%. Um, that 3% right there, um, others... Uh, I, I wonder where New Zealand is on this. 43% um, United States, 23% uh, 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 South Korea. So, one of the things that I want people to realize about this is that speaking and talking about this in English will only stop at the absolute most 43 percent of it these games will still make over 10 million dollars in the first couple of weeks even if we didn't do that you see what i'm saying it's nuts now check genshin impact okay sure let's see what this is revenue is greater than 100 million dollars in the last 30 days holy fucking shit why? Because they're at their cute, hot anime girls. Like, what do you expect, man? Genshin isn't pay to win, no. That's what's so fucking funny. It's nuts. Uh, wow. That's insane. So, yeah, $20 million. This is still a lot, right? $20 million is a lot. Uh, Diablo Immortal was made in the last two, uh, two weeks, according to this website, which is not 100% accurate, I'm sure. Um, Blizzard's latest RPG has been downloaded more than 5 million times and has quickly become the developer's second highest mobile earner. The majority of downloads come from people in the United States and South Korea. The United States is tops, accounting for most of them. And uh, the use of microtransactions as part of Diablo Immortals leveling has been criticized. However, as some players argue that they feel a distinct disadvantage if they are playing without purchasing in-game items. This displeasure has been reflected on the game's Metacritic user score, which for the PC version of Diablo Immortal presently sits at point three an all-time low for any pc game ever wow sounds like my gpa whenever i was a freshman in high school there's no widespread harassment in activision blizzard so activision blizzard investigated itself they put in a uh, investigation to get to the bottom of this situation and this problem um, and there is no evidence to suggest that Activision Blizzard senior executives ever intentionally ignored or attempted to downplay instances of gender harassment. Well, you know what? I think that part of that is true. Because I don't think that there is no evidence that you can find that intent was provable. I actually agree that there are probably no bits of evidence that prove intent. You see what I'm saying? Because proving intent is really hard to do. Like, you'd have to say it's oddly specific. Yes, exactly. It's oddly specific and probably technically true. They burned it all? Yeah, that's true. And uh, what's this here? Shred faster. We're being investigated. Actiboy's HR, pro skater. Human resources is not your friend. Don't trust the boss. Shred faster. We're being investigated. There we fucking go, man. I just... I, I don't know even really what to say here. It's just there. It, well, there it is. That that's what to say right there. I can't believe I just looted my first five star gem, and it only cost me twenty five thousand dollars. Thanks, Blizzard, for this authentic Diablo experience. For reference, it's about fifteen thousand dollars. That's pretty good. How many? Uh, how many more does he need to go? Like it, it's got to be like only eight more to go, right? Stu Gaming. Oh boy. All right, you guys ready? 
right. You're injecting heroin, and then, and then right when you're done injecting heroin, you're going to see this vending machine, not an ATM machine. You're going to see a vending machine. It's going to pop out of nowhere, like out of the ground. These vending machines are just going to hover up, and you're going to see heroin in there. And then all you have to do is insert a few dollars, hit the buttons, and heroin drops right out. That's, 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 that's exactly what a pop-up deal is in mobile gaming. This guy gets it. Ready to go. It's all nice and dressed up, right? And that's and that's the <laughs> point. Okay, let's see it. It's like it's like, yeah, you can technically fucking walk into a um, dealing accent strikes again. You know, game store. Okay. That's actually a fucking drug den, full of people trying to yeah. sell you fucking drugs. The entire purpose of the game store existing. Is to sell you drugs and to fucking get you addicted. To That's true. I can't handle. I can't handle the. I can't handle the accent, and I can't. Honestly, I can't understand what he's saying all the time. Seriously, that's not a dig. I just. I bet. I bet you can understand it. I bet you're saying that because there's no way. There's no way you can argue against this. There's no way. Honestly, can't understand what he's saying all the time. Drugs to take all your money, under the guise of it being a game store, and you can walk in and you can. Like, okay. look at the games and then you know without buying the drugs like yeah and you can not get fucked but this the 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 existence of it do you understand it's the the whole point is the whole point is uh -huh. not that you can technically play it free to play like yeah ch casinos don't charge you to enter the building yeah that's a far better analogy probably like why is this game doesn't charge you to, to what what the hell is this guy smoking it's good that he's got that copium mask. I assume that's what that is. But, but, what? Does he copy Asmongold all the time? I'm just gonna put him in this guy. I don't even know what. I don't even understand. Now, I'm trying to understand what he's on about too. First, he said you can't play the game free to play, and then he's talking about you can't enter. Like to say in an oh analogy, if you can't enter a casino without paying, is trying to say that you can't play this game without paying, right? That's that's what that equates to. I'm not sure about Quinn, but as a New Zealander, we do speak horribly. Yeah, I. Nothing on this guy. I'm sure he's a great guy, but uh -huh. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Like I, I just couldn't watch this guy stream. And what okay. Is, is gonna you gonna okay, fuck up. I don't even know what you're even on about. <laughs> I, I, I would really have to slow him down. I would have to. I love how he's watching him, and like it's a react to Quinn watching his video, but like. Stu isn't talking about what he's saying. Quinn isn't talking about Stu's video. He's banning somebody in chat. Like, the, uh, this has, like, nothing to do with anything. Yeah, it has nothing to do with it. It's just, it's just here. Slow him down and really listen to what he's saying, because I can't understand it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, he's get, he's he's building up I momentum. I yet. I haven't watched this video. Well, okay, I didn't know that he watched this video. I'm watching this video now because someone linked it in my fucking chat. You dumb cunt. How about that? All right. Let's have a look here. And the whole point is, it's got nothing. Diablo 4 is going to be great, guys. I'm telling you, there's not going to be any pay to win at all. It's going to be so good. Yeah, it, it's going to be amazing. Thing to do with the fact that you can totally play free to play. It's, it, it's so now he said you can totally play free to play. I mean, what the? And he's calling me like. What the, what the shit is happening here? It's the fact that it's the way it's designed, right? And the 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 way it's designed is like a mobile game because this is not for PC gamers oh. or console gamers. This is a mobile game for mobile gamers. The purpose of why? What is this difference again? It's like, it's like this self segregation. Like when did we all agree that you can only be a PC gamer or a mobile gamer? There's nothing intrinsic about being a mobile gamer that means that you have to be okay or that gambling is necessary for the game to exist. It's all gaming. What is this? Existence. Like, it, it, it's like, yeah, also what, you know, it's like literally, it's imagine a casino that let kids walk in, bro. And on top of that, they advertised it to them, and they wanted people to come. And, they, and it looks, re it's like covered in candy. Bro. Well, it's called, it's called Chuck E. Cheese's Super Fun Spin Time. And you go in, and it's a bunch of five-year-olds on slot machines.
<laughs> and Chuck E. Cheese will will go around with like a um you, you know like a, a little platter and like give them pizza or something like that, right? Yeah, it, it's yeah Chuck E. Cheese's super fun spin zone. It's covered in candy. And you're like, yeah, great, candy, 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 and the candy great is analogy because this game is definitely covered in candy for kids. For ki when did you start playing this game, Stu? I bet you probably started playing Diablo if you played any of the old games. You probably played them before you were 18 because they're marketed towards teenagers. Like, I. I I, 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 like, a lot of, yeah, Stu's pretty old. I think probably Stu's, like, 40, I, I, I bet. So, like, he probably could have played Diablo 2 whenever he was still in high school or something like that. Uh, you know, he's, he's, like, he's, like, 40. I think he's round, I have no idea. Like, a, a bald guy, it's hard to tell how old they are, right? For sure. And, and so, anyway, a lot of people began these games. Like, if, if you go and you poll a lot of people that are gamers now, like my age, what age did they start playing Diablo? I bet like 90% of them would say underage. So it's like, yes, you're right. This is, it's not as bad as if Fall Guys, like imagine Fall Guys that had like a, um, it, it, it's like you, you do Fall Guys and like after every match you have like, you, you get like one lucky spin to see like if you get like three crowns in a row, you get $400 or something like that out of it. Like, yeah, obviously that would be worse, but I think it's it's just it's disingenuous to say that Diablo is not marketed towards a it's it's for teenage guys. It's for guys that are like 15, 16, 17 years old, 14, 13 years old. Like I feel like that is the fucking prime audience of of people that play Diablo. And it's guys, absolutely this is a guy game, okay? This is 100% a fucking guy game. Almost all the characters are big, beefy dudes. There's just a bunch of dudes running around with fucking, you know, wearing loincloths, fighting. This is a dude's game. Let's be real. Kids. Are, is, no, no, I don't know. Is Blizzard actively going out there with the ice cream trucks and promoting Diablo Immortal? Is that what, is that what Blizzard does? I don't know. I could, could be, right? I'm just wondering, is there... Is, is well, think about it like this, right? So, for example, do you really see advertisements a lot of times for, let's say, guns or uh, tobacco or, uh, let's see, guns, tobacco, or like gambling, like going to Caesar's Palace, like actual gambling? Do you see this a lot on content that is, uh, you know, it, that the target audience of this content is younger people? Sports gambling, yeah, gambling. So, so no, you you don't see that. So, it, th there's actually a very easy way for me to prove that Stu's wrong. And, and so, the way that you do Google AdSense, let me let me step back and explain how Google AdSense works. So, Google AdSense is the best analytical program in the entire world, probably maybe better than what the CIA has. It is the best at aggregating data, understanding, and machine learning. It is the best. So because of that, uh, what you do whenever you, uh, you're buying something, uh, you're buying space on Google AdSense, is you start giving people the amount, uh, the, the age of the audience that you're going for. You also give people the amount of uh, the country that you're going for, the language that you're going for, the gender that you're going for. So like, for example, if you're looking to do makeup, you tell Google effectively the region. Yeah, you tell Google, I want women that are, uh, you know, younger to middle aged and I want them in English and, you know, in Western countries. Right. That's generally what you say. And so if you're trying to sell Diablo, well, let's look and see. So try to look through a few different uh, a few different creators who have like an adolescent audience, not like kid audience, not I'm talking about like Roblox, but just an adolescent audience, people that whose audiences are between I don't know like uh, 13, 14 to like 30, something like that, and see what ads pop up on those videos. I guarantee you it's going to be Diablo Immortal and other types of these mobile games. The reason why is because those people explicitly s assigned those ads to match with audiences of that age. It is explicitly in there. You see what I'm saying?
So, like, I can literally prove this to be wrong. 100% provable wrong. PG rating, yeah. 100% provable wrong. Blizzard at Let's the, like, 15-year-old arcades or roller skating rinks or wherever the kids hang out. Is Blizzard there actively promoting people to play Diablo Immortal? No, but they intentionally have ads that are targeted towards people that are underage. He said, I love the casino with the fucking yes. crack cocaine. And then on top of that, <laughs> one layer deeper, that the fucking you come in, you could like go into the little back room. Okay, once you've tasted a bit of crack cocaine, you get some more, they start injecting fucking heroin in your fucking veins. There it is. Somebody said in chat, no joke, my son was watching a Paw Patrol video and a Diablo ad came on. Paw Patrol? I'm pretty sure that's not for that's not for grown-ups. Yep. There we fucking go. Now, obviously, this is hearsay. I mean, he could be lying, but I don't think he's lying. Okay, do you understand? They start in injecting fucking heroin into humans because that's like mm -hmm. the infinite whale glitch where you can like, they can take all your money and, and they will. Are these people on like a whole different level, right? They're on a whole different level because it seems like every time they talk about um, gotcha gaming, loot box mechanics, it, it goes to... It goes to children, it goes to horrible addictions like drug, it goes to... Uh, Let me see. Uh, I wonder if I can do this. Uh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna open up an incognito window, and I'm gonna go youtube.com. And let's look at Minecraft video. And, and I, I actually, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna open up five of these videos here, and I'm gonna see what the ads pop up uh, for this. Seat Geek, just this month. Okay, there's none. There's nothing right there. Here we go. Nope. Hello, no, none guys. here. Okay. Uh, let's see next. Here we go. Nope. Here we go. Jesus. Okay, I get it. Here we go. God damn it. Here we go. God damn it. I get it. Okay, Paw Patrol. It seems like I can't find any on Minecraft right off the top of my head. Uh, maybe that's not true. Maybe it is. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'll have to find a better ex example for that because obviously that was not a very good example. Jesus. Play a video about Paw Patrol? It could be any other reason. Like, you aren't young enough. It's personalized ads. That's why I opened it up on Incognito because it didn't have cookies on it. But it could still be, uh, it, it could still be there. I don't know. Um, whatever you can think of, right? The fall of humanity. The IP it, is? It, it oh, just really? like it okay, literally jumps from we we've yeah, got I, I Diablo as a loot box gaming to the craziest shit I have ever heard of. It the drama, right? It is. It is. I swear. And I guess that's why they're big, right? I guess that's why they are just so freaking big because they can sit there and just come up with the drama like on cue. Like like it's like it's oh, real. He's talking about me me and right? Quinn. He's saying this. Okay. Like I'm believing that he's saying this. Just like when he looks at me. And I know this guy's not like this guy isn't doing a persona. This guy isn't doing a a skit right now. He's he's honestly saying this type of stuff like it is fact and real, and that he believes it truly. It's the is the, you know it's the internet, man. It's the wildest shit out there. Look, everybody's got opinions. Everybody's got a a, a way to put it out there now. And if you've got a big following, it it's just it's it's this cult. Thanks so much for the prime sub, man. Appreciate the love and support. I, I feel like it's it's very easy to say that. That I mean, speaking of cult, right? But like, this is not a refutation of of what he said. Uh, it, it it's not a refutation of what he said at all, and in, in any way. Like I, I I don't know what else to say about it besides that. It just makes sense. Support. Ap apocalyptic drama yeah it is it's like uh -huh. everything is next level directly that will that will sync everything up like that will literally have at the at the fucking point where they're injecting here in your ends and you need more money they're gonna have like a little atm machine right there with all your shit and all you know all ready
Yeah, yeah, it, it, right. You're injecting heroin, and then, and then right when you're done injecting heroin, you're going to see this vending machine, not an ATM machine. You're going to see a vending machine. It's going to pop out of nowhere, like out of the ground. These vending machines are just going to hover up, and you're going to see heroin in there, and then all you have to do is insert a few dollars, hit the buttons, and heroin drops right out. That's, that's... To be fair, Quinn's analogy sucks. Okay? Like, I'm going to be honest, it sucks. Uh, it, it's a shit analogy. Now, a, a better analogy is if, like, let's say, again, you go to Chuck E. Cheese and there are, like, literal slot machines at Chuck E. Cheese that simulate gambling that you can win money from. And, and like, they're, they're, like, for kids. And, and like, you can go there and, and do it. Like, that, that's a better example. Um, or, like, let's say there are, yeah, or toys or something like that. I, I don't know. You win tickets. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how they work, but there's, like, an element of skill to it as well. Like, it's usually, like, you throw a ball into a hoop or something like that. Uh, very rarely do I see them where you have, like, there's literally no, there's nothing that the individual does. And, and so, yeah, claw machine. Well, claw machine is completely different. Because a claw machine, you can win or lose a claw machine based off of your actions. And, and I feel like this is a really big fundamental difference with gambling that a lot of people might not realize. Is that whenever you are, when like gambling in my mind, the bad kind of gambling is whenever you can't influence the outcome. They're rigged. The claw machines are rigged. Get a grip that isn't rigged. Uh, I, I, I know there's, and, and, and you're right. You're right. Like what you're saying is technically true, but what I'm saying is also true. Like you've had, you've had the claw machines where it goes like this, right? Let me see if I can, I can get it right here. It goes like this. And it's like, it, fuck. Okay. All right. It's like this. And it goes like this. And it goes like it puts his hand over it, it goes like this. Whoa. Oops. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Like that's what happens, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, of course that's happened to you. Of course, right? But that's not really the uh the, the, the if you don't know what you're doing, you're never gonna win a claw machine. And there is an element of skill to it as well, although they are also rigged. I, I think that both things are true. If you are better at claw machines, there will be a higher chance of you succeeding. That's, that's exactly mm -hmm. what a pop-up deal is in mobile gaming. Yep. This guy gets it. Ready to go. It's all nice and dressed up, right? And that's and that's <laughs> the point. Into this fucking, you know, candy shop and not take take any of the candy and uh -huh. you know enjoy yourself or whatever. But what about all the people who try the fucking candy? Okay, what about the people who haven't had their frontal lobe developed properly and they don't have very good critical thinking and they just go on and they fucking try the, and then they get hooked and then they fucking ruin their goddamn life. Do you know the, do you know the majority of whales are? There's, a, there's literally a study showing the majority of fucking... Hey, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. You saw me from Asbin Gold. You gave me a prime sub. Hey, <laughs> very much appreciate it. I am a, I am a pretty chill. I think I'm a pretty chill dude. So I do appreciate you hanging out with us. We uh, always try to have a good time. Right? Every day in life, you got to have a good time. You can't take oh, I love it. too seriously. I know there's a time oh my God. and a place to take things seriously. I get that. And there are very serious subjects around the world. But we are gaming, right? We are but like you're not really gaming though, right? I mean, like, it's just... I feel like any of these arguments would immediately fall apart if they were introduced to even the slightest amount of, like, critical thought. Like, all of these would just, like, immediately fucking collapse if they were introduced to even a, a little, little bit of critical thought whatsoever. Because, yes, obviously, you're gaming. Slot machines are, like, how do you define a game? How is a slot machine not a game? It obviously is. Uh, it, it's just... Like, there's there's nothing, like, uh, they try to distinguish in PC gamers and mobile gamers in the Diablos franchise fan base maybe comes from PC. Blizzard knew that whenever they released the game. Yeah, I think so, too. Everybody knows that. Or gaming. We're mm -hmm. trying to we're trying to get away from, from real crazy drama. We don't mind the, the made-up drama, the poking fun at people, but we're trying to get away from the real drama of the world oh, yeah, and sure. enjoy some goddamn gaming, right?
I get that's that. That's all we want to do. Absolutely. You need the prime more than the rich guys? I do. I do. Thank you very much. <laughs> he said, I need it more than the rich guys. So true, man. Thank you. In the game that they do. But you might see people really jumping up in brackets right now. It's because they are Paragon level 30. And this is going to happen many times through the okay. life cycle of this game. Oh, my God. It all has to do with the hell stages. But it is taking them a long time. Has, has he not even understood like this old like artificial progression? This isn't even anything. Like, like the whole like he's not even he's like he said he's he butthurt because he spent twenty one thousand dollars. Like I don't understand. When's he like he's, he didn't get a five star like, gym? He's, he's acting as if this is like actual. <laughs> this is the guy. This is the guy that you guys are always telling me who spent money in the game and never got a five star gym. Isn't that didn't that guy quit? That is his legacy from now on. Quinn will always be known as the guy who spent money in Diablo Immortal, right? That will always be it. Um, I, I feel like, I'm going to be honest, I think that this video was an L video. I, I think that Quinn's arguments were not very good. I think that Stu's arguments were awful. I I, I feel like I would love to have a conversation with, with one of these guys about it. Like, unironically, I would like to just have a conversation and talk about this because I feel like it's just so obvious that, um, uh, it, it's just so obvious that it's bad. There's no question, there's no, uh, you know, doubt about it, etc. Uh, Quinn, no, I, I mean like Stu or, um, or, or J JP, that's what I meant to say. And, uh, it's nuts. Quinn's quitting down Mortal now? Yeah, there we go, Stu's in. Best thing to happen to his channel? Yes, I, the thing is that I don't mind. Can I defend gotcha as a free to play? I don't want my games to go away. You don't need them to be gotchas though. That's what you don't understand is that it doesn't need to have gambling in order for it to be a game that's free to play. There are a lot of games out there that are free to play and they don't have gambling. That's it. 